is running. Mind if I interrupt for just a moment, Juliet? Sure, Mom. I'm all ears. Well, first off, I thought I asked you nicely to not be drinking a cup of sake in the morning before you start your day. I'm sorry for not obeying you. I just like having a cup of sake, even if it's just a tiny cup. I know, sweetheart. But drinking a cup of sake every morning, even if it's a small cup, isn't a good idea. So I want you to try and work on cutting down on that, in any way you can. Yes, Mom. Anything else? Yes, actually. This package from Grandma came in the mail yesterday, and it's addressed to you, but you didn't come home until late last night. So, I figured I'd give it to you today before I left for work. Really? Wow, thank you, Mom. Do you know what's inside? I'm not sure. Grandma never gave me or Dad any kind of notice about a package from her being delivered to our house. Whatever's inside, it's clear that she must have really wanted you to have it. You go right ahead and open that package up. I have to be on my way and head to work. Okay. Bye, Mom. I love you. I love you too, Juliet. I wonder what Grandma sent to me. Whoa. Your Grandma sent you what? A diamond. She sent me this really beautiful light blue diamond. And believe it or not, this thing is no fake. It's the real deal. Are you serious, Juliet? How can you tell that it's not fake? I did what most people do if they want to determine if a diamond is real or not, and that was to perform some tests on it. And this diamond passed all the tests that I did on it. A fake diamond would have never stood a chance. Oh wow. So you're basically saying you now have a valuable diamond on your hands? Yeah, pretty much. Good for you, Juliet. So what are you planning to do with that diamond? You thinking of maybe selling it so you can have some extra cash saved up? No way, I'm not selling this diamond. I'm just going to keep it for myself, maybe display it in my room or something. That's actually not a bad idea. Do you guys want to come over and see the diamond for yourselves? Sure, I think that would be... Hey guys, we have an invader in the house. Help me chase down this sorry bastard. Um, guys, what was that? Jace and I are going to have to see that diamond another day, Juliet. I'll explain everything to you later. Um, well, alright. Bye, Jessica. Bye, Juliet. Well, that was sure weird. I wonder what the heck was going on. Oh well, that'll be an interesting story that I'll hear about later. Right now I've got to find something that I can use to help display this diamond. Hey Brittany, you should have seen that diamond. It was a real beauty. Yeah yeah, I bet it was. Remind me again why I had to come along with you? Well, I thought that since we failed at carjacking from people, You'd be more interested in joining me for some home invasions here in Tyndale Valley, so that we can steal other people's stuff. We failed? Um, I would rephrase that. You're the one who failed. I simply stood back, did nothing, and tried enjoying my smoke in peace. Oh don't you go saying that shit Brittany. Well it's true Nathan. Fact of the matter is, I never agreed to help you with any of this, and yet you still drag me along. I drag you along, because I need help. Help with what? You seem to do a pretty good job by yourself, 
while I do my usual by standing back and having a smoke while doing nothing else. Look Brittany, all you have to do while we're here is one simple thing. I need you to be a lookout. That's it. And while you do that, I'm going to be inside, trying to find a way to steal a diamond without getting noticed. Simple enough? Yeah yeah be a lookout, make sure nobody gets suspicious, blah 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 you made your message clear. Oh how mature of you. Look just wait here. This robbery shouldn't take me long. Finally, I can enjoy my smoke once again in peace. It would be a real shame if this diamond broke. I'll just leave it right here on the desk for now, until I can find something to help display it, or at the very least keep it safe. I wonder if my mom has something in her room that I can use. I'll go and take a look. I need to get in there, get that diamond and get out, before that blonde comes back and catches me. But how can I do that? Well, option one would be to break through the window, but that would just leave a mess of broken glass and would cause some attention. Too risky. Come on Nathan, think. Wait, that's it. That door is connected to the garage. I'll get inside the garage, and then use that door to break into the house. Then I'll steal a diamond, and get out. Foolproof. No luck in finding something to help with this diamond. Not a problem, I'll just wait till my mom gets home from work, she should know what to do. But until that happens, I better keep a close eye on this precious jewel. Now off to the kitchen. I almost forgot to have breakfast. What the? Hey, where's that diamond? It was right here on the desk. Well this is just fantastic. Now I have to sneak through the house and find out where that diamond is, then get out without getting caught, or seen. What the? What was that? I know for a fact I heard something smash in here. Question is, what was it? Oh, it was just this potted plant. Mom's not going to be happy about this. Wow, this thing is more of a beauty up close. I could definitely get a lot of cash for selling this diamond. Hundreds, probably even thousands. Uh oh. Um, good boy, good dog. Don't mind me, I'm just a friend of your owner's. It's okay Nathan, just step slowly backwards and everything will be. No, ouch fuck, ouch get off get off please stop no ouch, someone please help get this dog to stop. You just can't seem to keep yourself out of trouble, can you Mr. Richards? You are very lucky that you are dealing with Tyndale Valley's police chief. So, consider this a privilege that you get to ride with me. But officer, I need to go to the hospital. I'm badly hurt. No you aren't, you're just putting on an act, like you always do when you try and avoid the consequences. Oh shut up Brittany, you're not helping. Yep, and I do a great job at it. Enough, both of you. Police car. Let's go.
What a good boy. You deserve lots of belly rubs after things get done here. Easy easy. You did what you're supposed to do as our guard dog. You stopped that home invader from getting away with this diamond, and got my attention so that I could call the police. And thank goodness that happened. Who knows how Grandma would have felt if I had lost this. I'll have to learn from this experience. That is a promise, so that this jewel, is truly kept in safe hands. Visions of the sea to fly so high as you could be.